we did actually finish the last challenge we needed to get the Pirate King. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on Tunnel 13, and today we're going to be unlocking the Pirate King. Also, we're going to be upgrading a few things around the base, as well as doing some of our Legend League attacks. Since I still have four left on the base here that I still have to do. We have, uh, I've done four, and I've three-starred three of the four that I've done today, which is very, very good. Probably the best I've done ever since the new system came out. So we're going to do a couple of those attacks as well as upgrade a few things, but we have full Dark Elixir, so we can't go do any of attacks without upgrading something with Dark Elixir. So we have a book of heroes in the uh, Season Challenge, which I am going to collect so that we can actually upgrade the Queen. I'm going to get her to max this video as well as unlocking the Pirate King, a jam-packed video today. So we have full Dark Elixir, we're going to upgrade the Queen she costs 238,000 Dark Elixir. Gonna upgrade her, and then we'll use the Book of Heroes on her. So we have the uh, Dark Elixir storage empty now. Uh, I'm not sure what else I could really use the Dark Elixir on. So I decided that we we're gonna have to go out and do a couple of attacks so that we can get the final challenge done, which is uh, destroy 100 Archer Towers in a multiplayer battle. So we gotta do we're going to do at least three attacks today in this video, so hopefully we can actually get the challenge done. And once we do, we'll be able to max out the queen as well as get the king pirate skin unlocked as well. So why don't we go out and do our first attack here, and let's see what kind of base we get. So we get... I uh, haven't seen this base before. Everyone seems to be using the holes in the compartments. Not too sure why. Um, but I am actually going to go from the bottom here, just so we can get this Dark Elixir at the bottom. Uh, but I do want the Queen to go to the right. She will have to attack the Royal Champ there. Actually, it doesn't really matter which side she goes from, as long as she goes towards the uh, Eagle here. And the Wall Breaker will destroy that wall, hopefully. So we destroyed a little bit of the wall. Oh, I didn't even realize that the queen was so low. <laughs> Use a raid spell on her there. And we'll start with the bowlers on the right or left side there. And we'll drop the rest of the bowlers here as well. With the king warden. And we'll wait to put down the royal champ for now. Gonna have to use the free spell on this single inferno tower. I'll use it now. Uh, for some reason, I have two heal spells, which is not right. I'm supposed to have one rage and one heal left after this. So I'm going to use the heal on the clan castle, I guess. I'm going to freeze the CC and we'll rage the CC to take that down. Since it is all air troops, they're just going to rush the town hall. Hopefully they do take it down. We still have the royal champ up, which I did actually forget to put her down as well. We also have some archers, which I'll put those up top. This first attack is very, very sloppy, but we're at 65%. I even forgot the Warren's ability, so we're going to use that to help the Rolla Champ stay up. Hopefully she can stay up, and she will. We're going to continue on the base. The Queen dives at the bottom. We still have some Yetis up, and that Lava Hound isn't going to do anything to our troops. Using the Rolla Champ's ability to go through a couple of those defenses there. Gonna go over and take out that bomb tower once she takes out the cannon. We're at 81%. Didn't know we were gonna do this well on this base. We weren't able to take out that inferno tower at the bottom there. I don't want that warden to get targeted by the uh, lava hound. He keeps targeting the <laughs> lava hound. We have three eddies up still. Hopefully, they can take out that storage before they all get taken out. We're gonna get to at least 90% here. It's very, very good. I kind of want to get as high as possible on the leaderboards. We're at 5,200 trophies. We're at 90% on the raid here, though. Hopefully, the Wizard Tower can get taken down once one of the Wizard or the Yetis go down. Taking down that barracks. Gonna go all the way down to take out that collector there. That Wizard Tower does go down, so the Yeti will be able to stay up for the rest of the raid. Taking down that camp at 94%. We're at 
We're obviously not going to be able to three-star it, but I do want to get as much percentage so we can actually get these 32 trophies. I think I am going to get... I forget how much trophies it is. We've run out of time there. We get 31 trophies for a 95% two-star. Not bad, not bad. We have three attacks left on the uh, day here. And request for troops and all that. And we do have a couple upgrades we should actually do before we max out these storages on these next couple of attacks here. So I am going to upgrade a wizard tower. We have two left. A 13 day, 14 hour upgrade with worth 13.7 million gold. Gonna get that going. So we have two builders left with uh, 15 million elixir, but I can't really upgrade anything besides the warden and the walls with elixir. So we'll just keep the uh, elixir available until we really max it out so that we can upgrade uh, four walls at the end here because I do have some runes once we upgrade the queen so we can get a couple more buildings going as well as some walls but we're gonna go out and get the heroes back up and some clan castle and I'll come back once the armor is ready. Okay next base here uh, this looks like we're gonna go from the rough side obviously um, I want to go from either the top left where this, these two mortars are or even down here where those two mortars are going straight towards the town hall. Um, I think I'm going to go from the bottom here with the regular army and we'll try to get the queen to go to the right side here. So we'll put down the queen walk here. I'm going to put down a wizard over here to keep the queen going towards the right side. We'll wall break her into the base there. Uh, she's going to have to go in towards that uh, Inferno Tower. We're going to use some boulders here with the Yeti there. We're going to use a Rage Spell. This time we don't have a uh, heal because of the last attack. We're going to use the uh, Wall Wrecker now. We're going to go in towards the base. Putting down the heroes. We're going to wait for the Royal Champ. We're going to go in towards the base. We don't have a heal this time. We do have a rage, so we're just going to rage in towards that base. Uh, going to use the freeze on that Inferno Tower. Going to use the Warden's ability. Royal Champ getting taken down. Going to rage the Clan Castle. Hopefully he does get taken down. There's a lot of troops over there. Town Hall does get taken down. Going to jump and rage the troops towards that scatter shot and that multi inferno tower. We have some skeletons and a ice golem going towards the main army here. We have some uh, archers and a headhunter here still available. I'm just gonna put the archers up top and we'll put down the headhunter towards that king. But the giant bomb, oh, it doesn't get to get out. It stays up. Still have the queen, a couple yetis and bowlers. This could honestly be a three star, another full, uh, sloppy attack, but we might actually get it. We still have the Queen's ability up, but we have all these defenses. There's probably a tornado trap somewhere on the base. Oh, it's right over there with these bowlers. Taking down the Expo. The Queen is taking a lot of damage. Gonna have to use the Queen's ability. Giant Bomb is about to take her down. Hopefully she takes out that Expo and she won't be able to take out anything else. And that Yeti won't be able to take out anything else as well. So that'll be the end of the raid. 91% two star, not bad. Uh, we have to do one more attack to get that challenge done for the queen. We need six archer towers. So we need at least six archer towers to get the queen maxed. And we can actually do another raid without spending any of that elixir. So we have four minutes for everything, and I'll come back once it's all done. Okay, final attack here of the day, hopefully. Um, this base, I think I've seen this one before. All these bases are very, very similar. They have all the expos and inferno towers and all that on the left side, protecting the town hall. Uh, so we're gonna start off on the, we'll go from, yeah, we'll go from the left side with the main attack. So we'll put down the queen over here and we'll throw down a wizard over here to make sure that the queen goes to the left side here. Gonna throw the wall breaker down to make sure that he goes into the base. We might need a rage spell for her since all these defenses will probably do a little bit of damage. So we'll throw down a rage spell over there for that. 
And while that happens, we'll throw down the Yeti with a couple bowlers. And we'll put down the Wall Wrecker as well with the rest of the army here. And the Wizards, there we go. We go in towards the base here. We have the Royal Champ here as well, which we will put down now. Clank also coming out. We're gonna heal up. And the Queen is almost dead. We're gonna use a freeze on the Skyrim Shot and Inferno Tower there. And we're gonna have to jump into the core of the base there. We're gonna rage. And we're gonna have to freeze. I'll freeze the Inferno Tower. Gonna use the Warden's ability right in time for that King before he dies. Gonna use the King's ability as well, actually. Uh, looks like all the heroes are actually down. So we will put the Headhunter up top. Uh, we still need the Royal Champ. Is she getting targeted by the Inferno Tower? No, she isn't. We still have the Queen's ability as well with the Queen Walk still up. She'll go and take out the Inferno Tower there. King is still up with the Sliver of Health as well. I also didn't realize that the Queen is using the ability as well. As well as the Royal Champ. This could actually be a 3 star. They finished off the video here. Very, very good. And use the archers up top. Queen's still up. King's still up. Surprisingly. This, this will be a 3 star to end off the video. Very nice attack here. To end off the raid. With 3 heroes still up. The King surviving most of that. Through the core of the base with a sliver of health. Final uh, five buildings here. Still have a Yeti up on the left side as well. And the Clan Castle is still up as well. Plus 40. Gonna bring us up to 5,300 trophies. Very nice attack. It's 600,000 of Elixir. 7,000 Dark Elixir. Which will actually kind of go to waste since we are using the Rune now. Since we did actually finish... The last challenge we needed to get the Pirate King. As you see here, we get the Pirate King. I'm gonna collect the Book of Heroes and then the Pirate King. I'm gonna go over here and see what he looks like. I'm gonna switch out the Champion King for the Pirate King. I actually like this Pirate skin. It's probably one of my favorite uh, skins so far, as well as the Champion King. That's a very good skin as well. We have some Elixir and Dark Elixir. We're going to actually use the Ruin of Dark Elixir on the storage here. So we can actually max out the Queen here. We get her to max level 240,000 Dark Elixir. Going to end the boost. And we will actually max her out using the Book of Heroes. So the Queen is now maxed out at level 75. Can't upgrade her at all anymore on this account. So we have two out of the... Four heroes maxed out on this account. We also have some loot in the clan castle, which I am going to actually use right now. We'll fill up the elixir storage and we'll upgrade a few walls using the elixir here. We'll spend basically all of it. Uh, we still have some more in the clan castle as well. So we'll do one more wall and we'll do another gold wall to finish off. We did one, two, three, five walls for a total of 25 million uh, gold and elixir total we still have two builders as well but uh we'll uh save that because i still have a couple i have one more attack and then i'll do some more attacks later on so we'll uh upgrade something off camera as well but it looks like that's gonna do it for today's video if you enjoyed the video and haven't already leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out